Hey guys, we're back with another video and in this video we are going to learn how you can transfer your WordPress site from localhost to a live server. So let's get started. As you can see, we have logged into our WordPress site. So this is a localhost WordPress site. Let's take a look how our site looks. You can see we have this beautiful theme installed. This is actually a cadence starter template that we are using. And you can see how beautiful it is. It's really perfect for fast food or restaurant business. You can see. So let's take a look at some of the other pages. So we have the reviews page. There are client reviews. The product page where the customers can order. And the menu page about us page and there are many other pages so this is a really beautiful site cadence has a feature where you can use ai to build your entire website although this site is not built with ai it's a classic starter template but it is possible to build uh, sites with cadence ai we already have a tutorial on this topic if you want to learn how you can build site with cadence ai check that tutorial we will leave the link in the description down below so let's get back to our dashboard and to transfer this site from localhost to live server we need a plugin so we will be using updraft plus so we're going to hover our mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin from here we are going to search for updraft plus and here's the plugin so we're going to click on install now button now, using this plugin, you can migrate your WordPress site from localhost to live server for free. All right, the plugin has been installed. Now let's click on the activate button. Okay, it's activated. Now let's click on dashboard over here. Now, if we hover our mouse over settings, we can see Updraft Plus backups has been added over here. First, we need to back up our site. So what we are going to do is click on this backup now button and here you can see there are three settings include your database in the backup include your files in the backup and only allow this backup to be deleted manually and we should also click on this checkbox that says include your files in the backup and after we click on this checkbox we're going to uh, click on these three dots and here you can see it says your saved settings also affect what is backed up. So the files included are plugins, themes, uploads, and any other directories found in WP content. So we're going to select all of these. You can see there is another option called must use plugins, which says none present. That means our local host site doesn't have any must use plugins. So this checkbox is disabled. We cannot select it. You can see here. But if Updraft Plus detects any must-use plugins on your site, then this checkbox will be available to select and you must select it to take a proper backup. And then we're going to um, click on these three dots to close this up. And there's another option that says backup won't be sent to any remote storage. None has been saved in the settings. So if you want to store your backup in a remote storage, you can click on settings. And from here, you can choose which remote storage you want to store your backup to. There is Updraft Vault, FTP, Dropbox, Microsoft Azure, and so many more options. But this is actually for backup purposes. Since in this video we are going to migrate our site, this is actually not necessary for our tutorial. But if you want to learn more about backing up your site with Updraft Plus, we already have a video on this topic. We're going to leave the link of that video in this video's description. So let's click on the backup and restore tab and from here we're going to click on the backup now button and we're going to select these two and this is not necessary for this tutorial so we are going to leave it unselected now let's click on the backup now button and it's saying requesting start of backup so we have to wait a few seconds if you have a larger site this is going to take time but if you have a smaller site it's going to be done in a few seconds you can see it's already complete all right, so we have a backup over here. Now we are going to download all these files in our computer, the database, plugins, themes, uploads, and others. So let's click on database. 
and here our database is ready we can just click on this download to your computer to continue but we are going to click on the other buttons as well so plugins themes uploads and others now all of these files are compressed and ready to download so we're going to download all of these just by clicking on this button download to your computer okay so the database has been downloaded now let's download the rest okay so we have downloaded all of these folders so let's take a look at our computer okay so these are our files that we have downloaded we have put everything in one folder okay so you can do the same after this what we are going to do is log out of our site or simply just go to our live server so this is our live server you can use any hosting and domain provider to get any hosting plan then contact their support to launch a WordPress site in minutes. So after that's done, just simply log into your WordPress dashboard and this is where you're going to land. Now let's take a look at our site. You can see that we are using the default 2024 theme. Now let's get back to our site and install the Updraft Plus plugin over here. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Let's search for Updraft Plus. And here it is. Now let's click on the install now button. Okay, it's installed. Now let's activate it. Okay, so let's click on dashboard and it's going to appear over here. So Updraft Plus backups is over here. Let's click over here. And from this section, what we are going to do is upload backup files. You can see under the backup and restore tab, there's another option that says upload backup files. We're going to select it. And from this section, we are going to click on select files. And over here, we have the compressed folder. So we're going to select all of these and click on open. As you can see, these uh, compressed folders are being uploaded to our server. Okay, so all of these folders has been uploaded. After everything has been uploaded, what we're going to do is, you can see we have a backup over here. We're going to click on the restore button. So let's click over here. And now it's asking us choose the components to restore. So we want to restore the plugins, themes, uploads, others, and database. Now let's click on the next button. Now here we received a warning. It says the site in this backup was running on web server with version 8.1 of PHP. This is significantly newer than the server which you are now restoring onto. You should only proceed if you cannot update the current server and are confident that your plugins, themes, etc. are compatible with the older PHP version. So the PHP version that we were running on our local host used PHP version 8.1, but our live server is running on PHP version 8.0.17. So in order to avoid these kind of warnings or these kind of conflicts, what you should do is ensure that your Updraft Plus version your WordPress version and your PHP version are all the same in the local host and in the live server. For our tutorial, we have tested this quite a few times and there were no errors. So we are going to proceed with this. But when you're transferring your site, make sure all the versions are exactly the same. And after that, we're going to also see another option over here that says database restoration options, search and replace site location in the database migrate so make sure to have this selected okay now let's click on restore button and now the restoration is going on all right so the restoration was successful now we're going to click on this return to updraft plus configuration and as soon as we clicked over here you can see that we were logged out of our site so this is very normal now we have to log back into our live server using the credentials of our local host site Okay, so we have logged back into our site and as soon as we log back in, you can see we are in the Updraft Plus Backups configuration page. And over here, you can see a notification. Your backup has been restored. For even more features and personal support, check out Updraft Plus Premium. Your WordPress install has old folders. Technical information, these are suffix with hyphen old. You should press this button to delete them as soon as you have verified that the restoration worked. So once you're confirmed the restoration is working, you can click on this delete old folders button to delete the old folders. Okay, so all the old folders has been deleted. Now let's click on return to Updraft Plus configuration. All right, now let's check out our site and see if it's working. 
Okay, you can see the home page transferred successfully. We have all the design, nothing is broken, everything is working perfectly. Let's check out some of the other pages. The reviews page, the product page, the our menu page. So everything is working perfectly. Please note that due to server related reasons, some users may face a 404 error for internal pages after the migration. If that happens, Updraft Plus usually notifies that at the finishing screen. It will also offer some help document links. In that case, you may need to restart your VPS or contact your hosting support to fix the issue. But if you're using WordPress plain permalink structure for the local host and the live site, then you might not face this issue in the first place. Now let's head on back to the dashboard and Basically, that's how you can transfer your site from localhost to live server for free using Updraft Plus. Now, if you want to change your user password, you can easily do that by going to users. And over here, there's the admin user. Just click on this edit button and you can change the user password. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.